Morning, colleagues. Uh, welcome to today's cabinet meeting. This is not a public meeting, but a meeting that the public can attend. I'm Councillor Gunn Jones, Deputy Mayor, and I would like to welcome you all to today's meeting. Before we commence proceedings, I would like to outline the domestic arrangements for the meeting. We are not expecting a fire practice today. If the alarm sounds, please leave the building uh, by the nearest route. Uh, this meeting will be recorded and published on the Council's website. By entering the ch uh, Council Chamber, you are accepting you will be recorded and your images will be retained and broadcast by the Council. If anyone intends to record today's meeting, please ensure that this does not disturb the conduct of the meeting. Please ensure that your mobile phones are switched to silent mode. And thank you for that. I will now commence the meeting. Item one, apologies for absence. I have received apologies from Mayor Ros Jones, Councillors Jane Nightingale and Andrea Robinson. Are there any further apologies for absence? Okay, thank you. Uh, item two, exclusion of the public and press. There are no items on the agenda where the public and press are to be excluded. Is that agreed? Yes, item three, public statements and questions. We have received a question from Councillor Nick Allen in relation to agenda item six, the active travel social prescribing pilot but as he is unable to attend the meeting, I shall read out the question. I have noted the report on the active travel social prescribing pilot and I commend you for taking action to place the scheme in deprived communities where there, is a clear, where there are clear and pre-existing health inequalities and outcomes. However, I feel some of the language about how the pilot's outcomes would be assessed uh, used too many broad brush strokes. I'd like to know how the reduction in health inequalities will be assessed on an individual basis. I, I feel the wider conclusion, the bigger picture, should take into account protected characteristics and factors which we uh, no matter hugely and impact health significantly, such as race, sexual orientation, and learning disability. From my perspective, I'd like to thank Councillor Allen for his question, and now I will uh, respond to that question. The feasibility study conducted by an independent organization included an equality impact assessment which was addressed by the Department for Transport as part of the funding application. The Equality Impact Assessment will ensure that the pilot will be delivered in a fair and inclusive way and will not present barriers to participation or disadvantage any protected groups from participation. As part of the pilot, we will be employing an evaluation partner who will undertake independent data collection. This will include both quantitative and qualitative methods to measure both individual and population impacts of the pilot. Okay. With that, if I can move on to item four, uh, which is declarations of interest. Are there any declarations of interest, please? No. No can see no declarations of interest. Therefore, move on to item five. Decision records from the meeting held on the 5th of October, 2022. These have been previously circulated and are for noting only. Is that agreed? Thank you. All right, we move on to item six. Active travel social prescribing pilot. I would like to ask Councillor Joe Blackham, Cabinet Member for Highways, Infrastructure and Enforcement, to introduce this item. Over to you, Joe. Thank you, Chair. I'd like to commend Active Travel Social 
prescribing pilot uh, to cabinet. The funding for this project comes from the Department for Transport. The pilot was announced on the 22nd of August 2022. Doncaster is only one of 11 areas selected to receive funding out of over 30 bids that were submitted to the DFT. The funding allocation is fully revenue over a period of three years and for a total of £665,000. I don't intend to go at any length. The executive summary fully covers what's in but I will repeat, I commend to Cabinet that we accept the funding associated with this social subscribing pilot. Okay, thank you, uh, Joe. Uh, I will now ask Cabinet members if they wish to ask any questions in relation to this item. Rachel? Oh, thanks very much, Glyn. Um, yeah, really support this. Anything we can do to reduce health inequalities um, and get more people um, active is great. A couple of questions was about the voluntary sector and how they've been involved in this, because this is the type of, I know how social prescribing often works, and it's voluntary organisations that deliver this and drive the developments, and obviously they're best placed to do that because they are closer to the community and they know what works and doesn't work. So how have the voluntary and community sector been involved so far? And is there an opportunity that um, they will be involved in the delivery going forward? Thank you. Thanks, Councillor. So they've been involved as part of the feasibility study in developing that. We held various stakeholder workshops, which relevant community groups were invited to and to participate in to get their thoughts and feelings, obviously, on the current social prescribing offer and how we could embed active travel into a wider offer. Um, as part of um, the funding, we will be going out to tender to bring in a service provider to deliver that. We've got events lined up where, again, these community organisations and the voluntary sector can participate and be involved in that um, to as much as their capacity allows. And we've got, obviously the funding may allow us to kind of extend that capacity and increase that capacity. But obviously due to the, the funding thresholds, it's got to be part of a, a procurement exercise where we go out and test the market. Okay. Yeah, I'm really pleased to hear that. And I'm, I'm thinking perhaps if it's not, the, the support is going to be there from somewhere else in the council or Voluntary Action Doncaster, because I'm thinking it might not be one group that has got the capacity to put in, but it might be that if they're supported through Voluntary Action Doncaster or public health or commissioning then we will see that voluntary sector presence which is really welcome thank you okay any more questions from cabinet members okay can see no indication uh, so i will now read out the recommendations within the report that cabinet approve accepting six hundred and sixty five thousand pounds of funding from the Department for Transport to deliver an active travel social prescribing pilot in Doncaster. Approve delegated authority be given to the directors of economy and environment and public health in consultation with the portfolio holder for highways infrastructure and enforcement to enter into a funding agreement with the Department for Transport uh, to allow delivery of the project. And finally, approve delegated authority for the Council Section 151 officer to sign off the outcome agreement. Moved. Is that moved? Yeah. Thank you. Seconded? Yeah. Okay, recommendations are agreed. Uh, that now concludes the items of business on today's agenda. I would like to thank everyone for their attendance today and their input. I will now close the meeting. Thank you, colleagues. Come again, Liz.